All right, welcome back, everybody. We continue the LMU Coaches Show now with a member of the LMU women's basketball staff, Emily Benjumbo. Emily, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, Emily, so you spent time as a player on this team just a couple of years ago for, for Coach Elliott. First of all, what's it like to be on a staff for a coach that you played for, and, and what has that adjustment been like for you personally? You know, it's been good and bad. You know, I want to be back on the floor sometimes. Um, now that I'm in the director of operations position, um, I'm not, you know, able to coach. So just I'm working on just learning from the outside when sometimes I want to be on the floor coaching or, you know, just be on the floor playing again. So it's been awesome to see the adjustments that she's made. Um, she's been here for a few years now, um, almost seven years, and just to see how much the team has grown and come together from the beginning till now is amazing. Yeah, and you mentioned you're, you're the director of operations. For, for those that aren't familiar with the coaching world, just tell us a little bit about what, what your duties entail when you're, when you're working for the coaching staff. Um, I just do a lot of behind the scenes work, so thank you to all the Dobos out there who did a lot of stuff for me. Um, I just work on scheduling flights, hotels, I'm just making sure practices are scheduled and everything to the day-to-day -day is good to go. And, and what have you seen from this year's version of the team? You mentioned that they've obviously improved a great deal over the past couple years. They had 20 wins last year, 10 already this season. Uh, what have you seen from this year's ball club so far that, that you've enjoyed? The chemistry. Um, every single day the girls come in willing and ready to work hard. They want to get better every single day. and. I've noticed that they want to go vertical. So what I mean by that is that every single day they want to add a little bit, 1%, 2% to their game, whatever it may be, whether it's cheering louder, being more positive for one another, um, making more shots. I just noticed that they really, really, truly want to get better each and every single day. And what does it mean to have such a, a, t a resilient team? Because, you know, Gabby Green is one of the top scorers. She missed, you know, a chunk of the season early on, but the team still played really well in her absence. So what does it mean to have just a deep team that, as I mentioned, is resilient and plays well no matter who's on the floor? I think it means a lot. Um, and I feel like it shows that the girls have sacrificed um, a lot of their time um, and their effort, knowing that at any point in time, they're going to be ha they're going to have to be the ones to step up. Um, and I think they know Gabby Green is absolutely amazing. And I think that she's instilled in her teammates how important it is that this is a team, this is a team sport. Not one person can do it. Um, on any given night, someone can go off and have the best game of their life. And I think we focus on everyone just doing it together as a whole. Yeah, and some of the highlights from the, the non-conference, of course, the, the opening season win against UCLA. But you, your team also had a chance to go to Puerto Rico and play in the Puerto Rico Classic. What was it like just to go to, to Puerto Rico and obviously do some charitable work as well, along with playing in a tournament there? Um, the people there are absolutely amazing. Such beautiful people, such a beautiful place. Um, I think the girls really enjoyed their experience, not only playing basketball, but like you said, being able to go to a hospital, hand out t-shirts, talk to kids, meet families, and they were just so grateful for, for all that they have and all that they're able to give to other people. Um, obviously, we didn't win the games that we wanted to win um, in Puerto Rico, but at the same time, we learned a huge lesson um, about being ready for every single game, um, about being willing to just do a little bit more every single day, and that's what we've been focusing on in practices every single day. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and looking forward in conference play, obviously already started in conference play now, but three road games in a row coming up. Uh, how much does that test your team early on in conference to, to venture out on the road and, and have some tough games? Um, it's, you know, some, some teams may like it to be later on that they go on the road that much, but I think um, we're ready for the challenge. And I think it will help us to learn that no matter whose house we're playing it in, playing in, it's our house. Um, we have to have that mentality no matter where we go. There are teams that really want to beat us at our house, so we have to do the same no matter where we are. Yeah, and last year this team finished fourth in conference. Uh, obviously, every year the goal is going to be to, to win the conference, but what has been the message from the coaching staff to the team about conference play and how important each game is? Um, I think they've really been harping on every game matters, every possession matters. If you do the little things, if you have short-term goals, then it will end up being able to accomplish a long-term goal. Um, and so no matter where you are, like I said, um, no matter what game it is, no matter whose house it is, you have to come ready to play because other teams are really wanting to beat us. And so we have to be ready every single night. And finally, 
still a couple months to go, but of course the WCC tournament is what conference play leads and builds up to um, from both sides of it as a player and now on the coaching staff. What is that like in that pressure cooker, single elimination type of atmosphere? Um, I think for our girls, I've, I, I've noticed that they love the pressure cooker. Um, they love those tough games. They love you know, those hard moments to really have the chance to shine and come together as a team. Um, for the coaching staff, it's a time for us to shine um, and to you know, be steady and just ready for anything that comes our way. And I think the girls are ready for just that. So. All right. Well, Emily, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck in the rest of the season and conference play, and we'll certainly talk to you down the line. Thank you. Go Lions.